Welcome back to Flashpoint and our half year in review. This year, CMPD and the community dealt with another officer involved shooting. Officer Wendy Curl shot Dan Queers Franklin outside of Burger King, West Charlotte. Medic arrived on the scene less than four minutes later. However, what we could never fully determine, did officers check on Franklin and did they do first aid? CMPD says, quote, most CMPD officers are not trained emergency medical technicians. Officers must secure the scene first before rendering aid. CPR and defibrillators can only be used when someone in, is in cardiac arrest. If an inv individual has a, a pulse and is breathing, CPR is not appropriate. Abortion became a hot topic across the United States this year, with the Supreme Court now having a conservative majority. A new wave of anti-abortion laws were rolled out or being considered in more than 30 states. Many of the bills banning abortions at eight weeks of pregnancy or as soon as a heartbeat has been detected. The only exceptions, a medical emergency, rape or incest, not considered exceptions in some states. The end goal here, make the Supreme Court take another look at Roe v. Wade. In North Carolina, the General Assembly passed a bill that would have made it illegal for doctors to not provide care to any babies born alive during an attempted abortion. However, the governor vetoed the bill. The House failed to override that veto. Well, last week, the U.S. Supreme Court decided to allow gerrymandering here in North Carolina and in other states. The court refused to find that political partner partisanship is drawing and drawing uh, election maps here in North Carolina violated the Constitution. A lower court had previously ruled that North Carolina's Republican-led state legislature violated the Constitution when it drew congressional lines. In a 5-4 to four ruling, the court says it's not up to them to decide the drawing of state maps. However, a lawsuit challenging the drawing of North Carolina's legislative districts has gone to trial. The case in Raleigh claims the maps violate North Carolina the Constitution, not the U.S. Constitution. And this year, a major scandal involving colleges across the country. 50 people have been charged in what a U.S. attorney says is the largest college admission scam in U.S. history. Authorities say it involved college coaches, administrators, and parents who paid bribes to get their kids into elite colleges and universities. And the Carolinas also wrapped up in the scandal. We're talking about deception and fraud. Fake test scores, fake athletic credentials, fake photographs, bribed college officials. Investigators say William Rick Singer charged parents between fifteen and seventy-five thousand dollars for someone else to take the college entrance exams or correct test answers for their sons or daughters. Court documents show other parents paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to designate their children as recruited athletes or other favored admissions categories. Agents say Singer used some of the twenty-five million dollars in fees to bribe college officials, coaches, and test administrators. Singer's Foundation purported to be a charitable organization, but was actually a front Singer used to launder the money that parents paid him. 33 parents faced charges, including actresses Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman. These parents are a catalog of wealth and privilege. A coach at Wake Forest also named in the federal indictment, the school suspended head volleyball coach William Ferguson pending an investigation. More Flashpoint right after this.